Well, Amazon, the company founded by Jeff Bezos, owner of the propaganda organ, The Washington Post, seems to get more political and more aggressive in its politics with every passing day. It's also getting richer. As small businesses across the country are closing, as an entire sector of our economy, the last independent sector of our economy, has been crushed by politicians, Amazon becomes more powerful. And it becomes more powerful because a lot of people use it, because the service is incredibly convenient. But there are some people in this country, we don't know the full number, probably tens of millions, who prefer not to fund Jeff Bezos' latest super yacht or the government of China by continuing to use Amazon. Are there options? What do you do if you don't want to use Amazon, if you want to start patronizing American businesses? Carol Markowitz has thought a lot about this. She's a columnist over at the New York Post, and we're happy to have her on tonight. Carol, thanks so much for joining us. So I think there are a lot of people out there who know that Amazon is bad for the United yeah. States. It's pretty aggressively anti-American mm -hmm. as a company, but they feel like, what else am I going to do? What else are they going to do? Right. Well, I think post-pandemic, the number one thing we should do is shop locally in our communities. We've had, you know, boarded up storefronts in your neighborhoods, boarded up main streets all over the country. And I think it's our patriotic duty at this point to bring those businesses back. Amazon had a gangbusters year. They did so well. Last spring, when you couldn't buy anything at your local store, you couldn't go shopping for clothes, for example, lots of people had their clothing delivered on Amazon and so on. So I think priority one has to be shopping locally in your own neighborhood in your own town is it possible i mean have we i mean not to be defeatist about it but amazon yeah. you have to say and i couldn't be more opposed to amazon but i mean it is the most convenient possible shopping option there's a reason they're huge they're really good at delivering things quickly to your home could you get yeah. by without using it in real life so I was an Amazon addict. I would shop everything on Amazon. I had boxes arriving at my door every single day. And I really had to ask myself, did I want to continue on with a company that was making society in a way that I didn't want it to be? Um, them pulling several conservative books was sort of the last straw for me. I realized that we're really going to have an issue going forward if Amazon gets to decide what we read. And of course, other things that they do is also really noxious to me. So I made the decision to stop shopping them. Look, if I 11 p.m at night, my kid tells me they need glue for school and Amazon will get it to me the next day, I'll buy it. It's not a huge deal to shop occasionally, but I've decreased my spending on Amazon drastically and I urge other people to do the same. Right. So have an occasional beer, don't drink vodka alone in the morning. It's a matter of, <laughs> of moderation. I think you're right. Carol Markowitz, sure. a wise person. Thank you Thank so much, you. Tucker.